for your ears is too strong. The quantity which was milled in this case was 250 grams and the milling time was only two minutes. We will now open the instrument so that you can see that the inside is very clean compared to any other mill which is using a cross beater or cutting system. Almost no sample is left on the rotor and out of the total quantity of 250 grams only a very very small quantity is left on the sieve cassette. I guess that this quantity is less than about half a gram from a total quantity of 250 grams. Mm. The inside Inside is very clean, so nothing really must be clean as far as the milling chamber is concerned. The small residue remaining on the sieve cassette uh, can be taken away just by throwing it out. And then after closing the mill, the instrument is ready for the next operation. Okay. The sample has been automatically collected in a sample bottle which is screwed away from the dust exhaust cyclone separator and the sample is then taken out of the glass bottle. It's a very very fine uniform milling result and you can be sure that the size is going to be smaller than 0.2 millimeters because it had to go through the sieve cassette of the instrument. It is very important to avoid cross-contamination between different samples because, as you know, otherwise the next sample and especially the analysis would be contaminated or polluted by the first sample. So what we are recommending is to start the instrument again with a small so-called blind sample of about 50 or 60 grams to grind that sample. That blind sample is going definitely to throw out anything which is left from the previous sample. Then that sample is thrown away from the cyclone exhaust system and after that, the regular next sample of 200 or 250 grams can be milled exactly the same way as you have seen it before.
This means that now, after having milled the blind probe, the instrument is absolutely ready for the next sample, which can now be milled. As I said before, this makes sure that no remainings from the first sample or previous sample will be included in your next sample. Theoretically, in most cases, the instrument must absolutely not be cleaned between the different operations. And as you could see, there is absolutely no dust development, which means that the handling of the instrument is very safe and secure for the operator. The operation, which you could see, means that a complete sample cycle can be done within a maximum of between three and four minutes, which means that easily two to three samples can be made within ten minutes. As I mentioned at the beginning, the maximum size of the sample must be smaller than three centimeters for the Z 19. Should the initial size of the coal or coke be bigger than three centimeters, then it must be pre-crushed. For this application, Fritsch has also a very appropriated instrument, which is called pre-cutter pulverizet 25. That instrument accepts pieces up to 10 cm in length and will grind down a quantity of 1 kg in less than about 20 to 30 seconds to a size of about 4 mm, which is absolutely perfect for the Pulverizet 19 universal cutting mill, which you have seen before. Thank you.